Previously, I've actually said I use art as a material in my work, not just the the stuff of making the art. So, so that you know, in some senses, like it could be like oil paint, bronze, and then art history. <laughs> so. Uh, for, for me, like with art, because it's a language, because it, because it has and incorporates audience inside it, um, it, I think it also incorporates other art. I was looking at shop products, at, at discarded waste from like supermarket, supermarket waste and stuff, packaging and stuff maybe that I'd consumed, I'd actually eaten and throwing away the bottles and the packaging and suddenly realised that um, I was putting them on shelves and kind of thinking about like how to re-display them and I suddenly thought, ah, oh, you know, there's, a, there's an art historical example of this somehow. And, um, and so I was kind of, I was kind of led off into looking at the work of Mirandi and sort of thinking about the idea of, of sort of timelessness and time in relationship to, to objects and products and thinking about the way that maybe painting has the ability to kind of add a sort of timeless filter onto stuff. Somehow by putting the, the object into a painting it's almost like we're able to recycle it. We're able to kind of keep it for, for longer. We're able to kind of have a longer view of it. We are aware of the fact that, that the more we move things around, the more it, the more it costs the world. Um, the, the sort of like the, the more kind of short term the packaging, the more packaging there is, the more problematic it is, the more stuff we have to throw away. In 2000, I started making like these sculptures, which were bronze casts of, of filled uh, black bin bags. And um, the, the black bin bag somehow was quite ubiquitous. And one of the great things, and one of the sort of curious things about a black bag is that it doesn't, it actually, you don't know what's in it. And so it's a sort of a void and an and, and avoidance because what happens is that what we want to do is we want to put our rubbish into a place where we can't see it anymore. And once we can't see it anymore, maybe it, we don't have to think about it. And um, the, the, <laughs> in some respects, like, like getting the objects out of the black bag and putting them on the shelf and starting to look at them, it, it's almost like again like you start seeing the point that you don't want to see you know i think it's it, it, you know there is a sort of propagandistic element to what i'm trying to do which is to kind of you know re almost like redress the idea of value the idea of how people value things or how people are able to articulate their sense of value with the with the paintings themselves i've i've tried to put them into their own kind of frames. They're all kind of um, old fashioned, if you like, and they're all sort of like, try and play the, the kind of, in a way like the game of, of, of putting the paintings into a kind of historical place. They're signed GT23. And um, I kind of joke with the idea that it may be 1923. <laughs> so it's like some sort of strange, um, sort of art historical kind of time shift. I think I, I've been quoted as saying we are what we throw away. Um, I, I think there's definitely a point like where I've been looking at all this stuff that I've been collecting over the period and um, and kind of wondering about how much it is like a self-portrait and obviously I realised that it's the stuff that's on the stuff I've been collecting isn't only my stuff it's also like fam family and and friends and there's people in the studio and and people around me and suddenly you realize that 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 maybe you know there is no straightforward self-portrait that maybe a self-portrait is kind of constructed through context that actually maybe like the idea of self itself <laughs> is really problematic um, and it's we're all interconnected and and I think that the, the <laughs> that's the thing like the more the more I go into 
and, and just have this thing I was about to throw away and then I've, I've put it on a shelf and start looking at it, the more it kind of opens up like a, like a, sort of, uh, like a flower and, uh, and start to reveal um, certain things about myself, about my identity, about culture more generally and about, uh, you know, and about humans' effect on the whole planet.